Hello everyone. Today I will be giving away a free application that can help you send thousands of customized emails with attachments with just one click. All you have to do is download the file from the link below for free. It's an Excel file and follow the steps as I explain them. And please don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below if this tool helped you in any way or if you are facing any difficulty with it. So once you open the file, you will see a very nice interface over here. So first thing you need to make sure is that you have installed Outlook on your computer and the Outlook has a mailbox configured to it. So in this section, what I have done is I have actually already marked down the steps over here. So this is step one. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So it's as easy as 6 steps and 1 click and all your emails will go through. So first thing is you need to select the sending option. So you have 3 options. One is the send email. So this will actually send the email at the back end. So if you let's say have 1000 or 10,000 of emails, it will send at the back end so you wouldn't notice the email going through and it will go through your outlook. However, in some cases where you, if you are using an office laptop or you are in a corporate environment where the corporate policy is, is installed on your computer, it might be blocked by as per the policy. So in that case, you can use something called display and send. So this will display the email and then send it. Similarly, if you just want to see the emails, so actually you can write something in it later on or if you just want to save the emails, you can click on display email. This will simply generate emails and it will not send. So in this case, let me select display and send. The next option you see over here is the option for dynamic fields. Since the application will actually create customized email for each uh, of the person or the person whom you are sending, we need to have dynamic fields. So in my case, where I'm actually trying to send email to all these people with these names and I'm actually asking them for the payment of these amounts. So they owe me this much money for these many days they have not paid me. So to do this follow up, as you can see, each email has a different name. So this is a dynamic field. Similarly, each email will also have a different amount and different number of days since they have not paid me. So basically I have three dynamic fields over here. I will simply go to my application. I will say add dynamic field. So the first dynamic field will be name. I'll press OK. Second dynamic field will be amount. And the third dynamic field will be days. So as you can see, as and when you add your dynamic fields will be listed over here. Now in the step 3, what we will do is we need to update the list. So we'll click on the update and you can see over here, you need to update these fields including the dynamic fields that you just added. So I will simply go to my sheet where I have all the email IDs. I will copy from here. I will paste it here. You can put someone in CC, BCC. However, you just need to keep one thing in mind. If you have more than one email ID, you, you, you need to use a separator. So for example, if I am sending an email to ajohnson at live.com and I want to keep two, three people in the CC. So I will say h at live.com and then separator and then which is a semicolon and then I will write another email so y at yahoo.com so this is how you add more than one email id this is just an example now I need to know the name of these people so actually I will go back to my I will go back to my sheet I will copy the names now these are the dynamic fields I will simply paste and I want the amount and the days outstanding. So this is the amount and these are the days. So 
once this is done if you want to attach something you can also attach that so let me say if I want to attach this picture for example I will say property I will just get the path of that file from the computer and I will simply paste it here now I can have different attachments for different uh, person but in this case I'll just take one attachment and I'll send it to all you can have different attachment as I told you earlier so once these fields are populated you we'll simply click on submit now the next step is you need to create subject of the email so in this case I will say payment of now as you know we already entered dynamic fields to use those fields I need to know the payment of amount which is this insert I'll click on insert field and whatever the amount is for that particular email it will capture automatically from the list that we updated earlier and then I will say pending from so basically this is payment of whatever the amount is pending from whatever the name of the person I will click the field dynamic field and I will say insert now let's go to the main body section of the email so I will say dear I will insert the name so again I will select the dynamic field I click on insert kindly pay I will write the dollar and then I will say the amount insert field against our services performed as it has been overdue for and then I will write days and to write the days I will simply select the dynamic field and I will say insert days this will ensure service continuity Thanks. Okay, so my email is ready. Now, the last and the final step is you simply click on run and you can see the magic. So it will display the email for 5 seconds and then it will send. Display the email for 5 seconds, then it will send. As you can see, the amount is different for each person, the name is different, so whatever the dynamic fields we, we have chosen, the, it is actually changing for each person. So once again, thanks a lot for watching and I hope this file will help you. Please, please do subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of more new tools coming up. Uh, and let me know in the comment section if you have any feedback on this or if you need any help regarding this tool.